So that's uh, generally what I'd hope to cover this week. Again, trying to keep this brief, much more focused. There is a fair amount of material in the book that you should still read. You certainly should read my blog as well. You should look at the assignments for this week and understand the mechanics, particularly of risk, as identified in, the, in this week's assignments. Um, but these were some of the highlights that I thought were particularly important in the book. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, please give me a call or send me an email and we can talk through them. I actually enjoy M&A and um, corporate finance and M&A re and, and restructuring and, and strategic alliance analysis a lot. It's an area that I have worked in for a number of years, but again, in the context of, of trying to keep things as brief as possible in this new streamlined approach to the class, uh, I've tried to keep this discussion to a relative minimum. If you think that I've covered things too on a on more a more cursory basis than would be helpful to you, please let me know. And certainly, if you have follow up questions, you can contact me about them. You can also post them as discussion forum items out uh, in uh, Bstrap 450 network. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the upcoming assignments. This week, you need to participate in Bstrap 450 network, and this week's forum focuses on the Pfizer Wyeth transaction. It opens on March 1st at 10 a.m. and closes on March 6th at 10 p.m. Uh, again, there's now a uh, there will be discussion forum leaders. They're identified uh, in the forum, and we're going to continue to use this streamlined approach where they will take on the heavy lifting associated with the discussion forum. And, on, and through Thursday, they will essentially be in the lead. On Thursday, we'll switch over if you have uh, a, an, a meaningful comment, I'd encourage you to participate, but keep your comments brief uh, if you're not one of the discussion forum leaders. And remember that you don't have to participate every week. I will say again, I want to remind everybody that you ought to be participating at least three or four times before year end in addition to your discussion forum leader role with at least one or two comments along the way. Uh, but that said, uh, this week, first few days, the discussion forum leaders will work on, uh, will focus on the Pfizer YF transaction and um, will focus on the questions that I've posed in the forum. Next week, you need to read Hit Ireland Hoskisson Chapter 8, uh, pages 216 through two, 245. Next week, we're going to be talking about international strategy, and, and so that's what that cha chapter is about. As usual, please view the post of lecture and please participate in the BSTRAT 450 network discussion for that week. Um, that opens on March 8th and closes on uh, March 13th. The uh, project team peer evaluations and status reports are also due next week. You'll see out on the blog I talk a little bit more about these. Bottom line is I'm giving you a heads up now uh, because I understand and, and appreciate that spring break is the week after next, and I want you to get the, all of those materials in uh, before you leave on spring break. I will actually be around during spring break, and so, um, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, a regular staff professor. That means I'm available, so if you have questions during spring break, you can email me, you can call me. I will be glad to catch up with you and try to help you. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to do it during spring break, but I'll be available. That said, the deadlines of, on March 13th actually Technically, I suppose, can roll into the first couple of days of spring break if you consider the Sunday part of spring break. So if you're uh, planning on traveling the weekend of the 12th and 13th, I would strongly encourage you to get all of your work done and make sure that the project team peer evaluations and status reports are in my hand before you leave on travel for your travel. The fact that spring break is that week is not going to be a basis for you to be able to be late. I won't accept things after spring break and I talk a little bit about this and the potential penalties uh, in, um, in, the, uh, in this week's blog. Next week's agenda, as I said, is going to be international business. It's the, a significant portion of the strategy formulation uh, analysis. Uh, hopefully you'll, you'll find it um, uh, interesting. As I said, I've spent, uh, in addition to my M&A experience, I was the previously the chief operating officer and the chief legal officer of our international life operations. Uh, so I, I take some real uh, pride in the work that I've done in that in international business. 
and find it extremely interesting as a topic. Again, I'm going to try to be as streamlined and as focused as possible uh, in all of my uh, lectures, so I won't go into a lot of stories there. I'll try to incorporate what I can into the blog and into the uh, exercise next week, but um, please feel free, if you want to next week, um, to, to contact me if you want to talk further about international, as I said, for this week, if you want to talk more about M&A, M&A is a career, international is a career, glad to do that with you. One other reminder this week is on, on Wednesday, I'm having my uh, first mini, um, mini uh, session uh, at um, uh, my mini uh, open house session at uh, the uh, business school. It's going to be in room 230 at 11 a.m. on March 2nd. I'd encourage you to stop by. This is going to be my opportunity to get together with you. Uh, have, uh, I'll have some donuts and coffee, and hopefully a few people will, will in fact show up. Look forward to seeing you there, and hopefully uh, you'll uh, find it valuable. And again, very informal, a chance for us to chat, a chance for us to get together to talk about the course, talk about business in general, strategy in general, careers, or whatever else you might want to talk about. And finally, um, as usual, if you have any questions or concerns, please contact me. You know the you know the drill at this point via Manhattan Post Office first, and then I'm glad to set up a call. I've done that a, a, a pretty much every week. I've had at least one person who's wanted to have a conference call to discuss a question or wrestle with a problem, and I'm glad to do that. Um, I just need some advance notice so that I can fit it into my schedule. I like to do those calls during business hours uh, from my office, so uh, please let me know in advance, and we'll try to set something up.